Okay, I think we're basically ready to go. And there it is, okay. So we are almost done. Uh, we are very close to finishing up. Everything looks fine to, to me on my end. Actually, hold on, did I turn down the volume? I did not. Yeah, let me get this going. All right, so. We are very close to wrapping this up. As much as I would like to just show off, I, I could show off the achievements, just all of them. We are almost done, we should be able to get it done today, but was another one last refresher. Obtain the 50 gold and copper sword in the treasure chest at the beginning of the game. Meet the Prince of Canock. Obtain the Mirror of Ra, break the curse on the princess. Obtain the Wind Mantle. Grab the ship. Obtained the Echo Flute. Obtained the Water, Star, Moon, Sun, and Life Crest. Then take all five of them to get the Charm of Rubis. Uh, get all the items in the Tower of the Moon. Get all the items in the Sea Cave. Defeat the three Guardians of Hargon. Luckily, they don't respawn in this version. Uh, obtain the Silver Key, the Gold Key, Jailer's Key, and Watergate Key. Obtain the token, helm, sword, armor, and shield of Erdrick. Win one of the first three prizes in the lottery. That took forever. Uh, obtain the world map in the Dragon Lord's Castle. Acquire the armor of Gaia. Defeat the demon priest in Laurasia. And obtain the staff of thunder. Obtain the Angel's rotter, uh, Robe of Water. Obtain the Lightning Sword. Defeat a Metal Babel. Get the Prince of Canock to level 28 to learn every spell. Talk to the spirit of the King of Moonbrook with the princess in the party and attain a puff pu and get a puff puff. We only have about four more to go. Actually, it is... I think it is just four, no, five more to go. And one of them requires us to get the Princess of Moonbrook, Maria, to level 25. She is currently level 23. So the first part of this is just level grinding. I think it might be best to just kind of hang out out here. I'm just going to kind of keep an eye on... I'm going to keep an eye on the EXP that I get out some of these battles. Then defense. Lower his defense. There we go. Okay. You go after that. You heal. Staff of Thunder. Okay, yeah, they can be affected by it. I forgot. Scorching Flames. How fun. I still want Kane to heal up again. <laughs> I might as well let Maria heal too. And almost done. How much EXP do I get out of this battle? Yeah. <clears throat> More than 2,000. I think the Archdemons is what do it. So, I think it might be best to just kind of hang out around here. And just level up. Okay. You know what? I'm going to have... Both Cain and Maria use the light sword. Because it doesn't always work. I know it works on them. Come on, let's try that again. 
I need Maria to heal. There, it finally worked on one of them. Okay, hold on. Uh, power shield, Kane can attack. Maria, you currently need to use the light sword. Why won't it work? shield light sword damn it there we go finally all right let maria heal yeah the first part of this stream is really just get maria two levels and that basically means we get everyone else like one or two levels because of it Okay, 1,500. It's not the best experience. Killing off two demon priests kind of gives roughly the same amount. Stop spell. Light sword. Explode it. Okay, we're, we got illusion, and we got... Okay, we got them both. Okay. Uh, power shield, power shield. Oh, come on. You know what, let's let both of you heal. Power shield. And Maria can lower the defense. Just trust me, like, he's a pain in the ass without it. Defense. Lower it. Jeez, even a crit is not enough. Although, the crit was from Kane. There we go. Yeah, I honestly, it seems like it's the Archdemons that give more EXP. So we almost want to just exclusively find them. Okay, Devil Lords. Uh, we want Stop Spell. Can work on them. Perfect. Now they can't cast Firebane. Because these guys are the worst. Let's see if we can get a little bit more out of the Light Sword. That one was already affected. And he still managed to hit anyway. Hit twice. Why are you targeting the one that's already affected by illusions? Thanks, Kane. Ah, come on. Alright. Yeah, physical attack. Not much damage. I'm probably better off just taking the chance for lightning to work. 1600, okay. That's for three of them. Okay. I think the 2000 experience is really from the Archdemons. Oh, we got a single one to fight. Let's see what we're looking at. again. A single Archdemon gives you 1,400. Yeah. Okay. So, thinking about it, since the EXP that was mostly due to Archdemons... And depending on how many you fight, it's about the same. Let's go to Hargon's Castle. 
might as well save while I'm getting the refresh. It's not a big deal. We're going back to Hargon. We're going back to Hargon's castle. That way. Oh wait, come on. Stop spell and sort of light. Yeah, we're going back. That way we have a chance to f defeat Metal Babbles. Unless we can find a spot that gives us a bunch of Archdemons. But to be honest, I don't even think I've seen a fight with two, more than one Archdemon. So yeah, let's go back to Hargon's castle. That chance for Metal Babel is probably better. I thought it would I thought this was gonna be the better route. You can't hit them with stop spell, you can't hit them with sleep. What was the way to deal with them? Uh the sleep and stop spell didn't work. So yeah, just lower the defense. Yeah, because we need more of that. At least their turn just kind of felt wasted. Oh good. Defeat didn't work. Or I should say thwack. Yeah, that was... For three of them, that was 1,200. That... It's not that great. Stop spell. Light sword. Okay. Yeah, Hargon's castle it is. If that helps. Okay, you go after the blizzard. You focus on the Archdemon, and you lower the defense of the Archdemon. Alright. These two need a heal. And we'll lower the defense again. Yeah, go ahead, try to use Explode it. It's not gonna work. Uh, and physical attacks is not a big deal. Scorching Flames. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Um, Silver Devils can be put to sleep. Kane can try to Light Sword the Cyclops. Silver Devils go to sleep. Well, we got one of them. We got one of them. Oh, and the Cyclops dies in one hit. Alright. Good to know. At least to... Uh, Erdrick. Dies, dies in one hit with the Lightning Sword. Fire Bane, Okay. One's still asleep. Might as well heal, it's not gonna hurt anything. Still asleep. There we go. Yeah, that was 900 EXP. Not much. Alright, back to Hargon's castle. But we gotta break the illusion. Do not be deceived. There are metal babbles here. Step guard. And then 
a false uh, evil statue, a false idol, Eye of Malroth, whatever it's called. And then we want to go up here. And we're going to hang out on this floor. There we go. Hey, look, our first fight, and it has two metal babbles. How nice. I better... Well, I better try to stop the demon priest. One of them stayed in. That's a good sign. He's still in. Let's just go for it. Of course, stop spell didn't take. Uh, didn't take. Oh, come on. I gotta heal. He's still in. Come on, why can't I hit him? And why won't stop spell work? Okay, at that point, I don't think... Yeah, it said it went up by zero. It's not going to do anything. Power shield. Oh, my God. The tension. I keep missing. <laughs> okay, an attack. I will, f I will full heal. It's not going to work anymore. Oh my god. Freaking my character keeps missing. And he finally ran. Probably because he knew my character was actually going to make, uh, make the hit now. That's dumb. Alright, get rid of the demon priest. Heal. No. Heal up. Heal up. That was such a good... That was such a good, like, first encounter. It's just... Kept missing. So annoying. And yet, I couldn't... And I also couldn't get Stop Spell to work. That just made things worse. If only, if only stops, but oh, Kane's dead. I mean, I have revive. You know, if I wait until I get into battle, it will cost less MP. I might as well. It's still a 50-50 shot, though. Hey, look, a single metal babble. Alright, revive. Oh, he's staying in. Yay, I hit him for a single point. White sword, please. Ah, uh, he escaped. Oh, now it works. Okay. Power shield. Light sword on Gigantus. And then another power shield. Didn't work. Okay. We'll, yet, we'll let you two attack the demon priest. Well, Maria's going for light sword. And it worked this time. There we go. You know what? I'm gonna let these two heal. There we go. Oh, wow. Kane went first. Perfect. Oh, we found a Sword of Destruction. 
I mean, I'm full on items, but that, that's cool. <coughs> I have two sorts of destruction. That's fun. Ooh. All right. Stop spell. Light sword. And of course he ran he runs right away. Okay, lowering my defense. Stop spell doesn't work because it sucks. Stop spell. Light sword. Okay, got both of them under illusions. Explode it. Okay. Yay, it worked. Alright. You heal. You attack. You attack. Demon Priest defeated! Yeah, it's gonna take a little while. Gotta take the my shots on metal babbles when I can. What do we got? A single demon priest. Okay. Of course it doesn't work. Why would it? Our shields. Attack. Why can't Maria have stop spell? You know? I think I'd rather have Maria have stop spell, but no. Kane has to have it. Because Kane sucks. Our shield. Power shield attack. Alright, Maria needs to heal. Yeah, go ahead, raise your defense. You still die anyway. Yay, someone leveled up. It's me, level 31, strength by 6, by uh, speed by 2, vitality by 1, HP by 5. How much gold do I have, huh? Not that, I, not that it matters, I don't need the gold for anything. It's just bragging rights at this point. Oh, okay, two demon priests. Let's make sure both of them are affected by a stop spell. Any illusions just for the fun of it. Okay, you lower my defense. Okay, you're increasing yours. Stop spell worked on one of them. Let's try to get it again. Might as well lower the defense, because why not? It's not going to hurt anything. Fine. At this point, we could probably go ahead and just kill the one. There we go. And this one's affected by stop spell, so we're kind of good. Remember, Maria needed like 30k e EXP. Ooh, Metal Babbles. Ooh, one stayed in. Both stayed in. Okay, that's a good sign. We got. We managed to get both the Light Sword and Stop Spell. Okay, let's just focus on the Metal Babbles. They both ran. That's the trade-off, you know? I could spend, like, round one just 
the first few turns just focusing all on the metal battles. But so far they've been paired up with Demon Priests. And Demon Priests can be annoying if you don't do anything to stop what they can do. You know? Granted, I don't think I need to use the Light Sword on them. It probably isn't actually helping much. It just stops some of their attacks. Well, not stop, but... Stop spell really is more important. Alright, I better heal. Everyone needs healing. Okay. Stop spell. <coughs> I mean, to be honest, it's a good idea for a magic user to have some resistance to silence, you know? That's a good idea, but it's really annoying when an enemy has that ability, you know? You know what? He probably ha is holding on to a Banishing Bell. That's probably what it is. Oh, you know what? Now I want to know. Uh... I, I want to know. What does he drop? I have to know. Okay, hold on. Piece of Enemies to Dragon Quest 2 because I don't know the English name off the top of my head. Oh, great. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. I don't think Stop Spell worked. I don't remember hearing the sound effect. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, we got to level up. It was Kane, level 29. Strength by 7, speed by 6, vitality by 3, HP by 9, and MP by 6. Sweet. Uh, okay. Okay, focus on the Demon Priest. Stop spell. And I might as well just get the Berserkers to sleep. It's not... Not gonna hurry anything. Right? Stop spell is more important. Hey, look, it worked. All right, we'll let you attack. Other two need to heal. Okay, let's see. What would the name be? No, not Archdemon. Looks like that basically stayed the same. Shield. Okay, it's not not under Demon Priest. Gotta kill time somehow. Let me see. The one of the bosses. Circa, big bad. Ooh! Stop spell. Light sword on the Gigantus. Of course, it didn't work, and both of them ran. Ugh. Okay. Let's focus on getting rid of the demon priest. Berserker, big bad, bloody hand, brainy bad boot. Okay, what's this one? Okay, no, not that guy. Cyclops, no. Dance of Flame, Dead Knot. Drackey Mage, Drackey, Dragonfly, Dragon Fry. Nope, Eyelasher. Crossburn, Gargoyle. I 
gotta, I gotta try. Of course, both of them run. Okay. I guess we're focusing on on the Gigantus. Gargoyle. Which one's Gargoyle? Okay, yeah, the flying enemies that are over the water. Try right, Ghoul, which I can support. Run. You need to heal. Might as well let you both heal. The... What is this? Oh, okay. I just want to find the enemy to figure out what it drops. Because I, I have to know. Uh, there we go. Green dragon, Grim Grimland, no. Okay, I'm on the right idea. I did not catch who got affected by stop spell, if any. Well, not you. Now I wish I was playing like the English translate the English names just so this would go faster. The enemies did not see me. I'm only running because I'd rather f do a fight with metal dabbles. Okay, not shaman. That's the right idea. Sorcerers. I got him under illusions and he still managed to hit. Now uh, let's heal some more. Let you attack and you go ahead and heal. We'll let Kane heal and then press an attack. Is this the right enemy? I think I kind of found it. Uh, let's see. Where are they at? Power of Hargon. Okay, I found them. Okay. Stop spell. And light sword. Okay, he didn't run away. That's a good sign. Okay, good. We're doing good. 
You know what? Let's get Light Sword on Demon Priest. Come on. So, this is the same enemy that was in Middenhall, in, where I got the Lightning Staff. This is the exact same enemy. Uh, Kane needs to go after the Demon Priest. And just like the one in Midden Hall, it drops a lightning staff. Never mind. That would be funny if it dropped a Vanishing Bell, and that's the explanation. That would be a clever way of explaining how some enemies have resistance to certain status effects. But no, they just naturally have it. Let's see. Yeah, immune to snooze. So yeah, you can't put them to sleep. Right, sword. Fizzle, which is stop spell, they have a two out of seven chance of it not working. Feels like it happens way more often. For something that's two out of seven, you'd think it would work more. You know? Oh, that's just mean. Heal. Heal up. Oh no! My main attacker's dead. Kane's dead. Maria's. Low on health. Um. Five? Honestly, I don't care if I die and have to go back to. There it is. Okay. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> okay, I gotta heal up from you. And how much EXP do I need? That fight would have done it. That fight would have gotten me the level. That's annoying. Yeah, we'll continue the journey. So, apparently... You can use Thwack on them. However... It is a full... They have four out of seven resistance. Apparently in the NES version... This is just mean. Because you can't even get Fizzle on them. A.K.A. Uh, stop Spell. Power Shield. You can't get Stop Spell working on them. They're immune to instant death. Uh, they seem to have more evasion, but only... It's like 5 out of 64 in the NES version. It's not something to worry about. But yeah, Dazzle, which is the illusion one. Apparently NES has a 4 out of 7 resistance. Whereas in this one, it's like guaranteed. It's weird. And still completely immune to sleep. Although, I'm now comparing the two. Uh, lowering the defense. Uh, anyway. Uh, Maria is now level 24. Strength by 4. HP by 1. MP by 7. And we found another sword of destruction. But we can't... Oh no, Maria was able to hold on to it. I didn't realize she had an extra spot. You know what? Let's just... Just sell some stuff. <laughs> Not gonna hurt anything. It's not gonna hurt anything, and I'll just cast return.
Step guard. We still don't want to use the inn. Don't use it. Alright. Let's sell some stuff. The steel shield, because it's worthless to me. The sword of destruction. Wow. That's a lot of gold. Another sword of destruction. And another sword of destruction. That's a lot of gold. Now let's just throw on all in here because it's not going to hurt anything. I have to know how much gold do I actually have. I feel like I had more. Wait. Okay. Wait. Wait a minute. That ain't right. That is not right. I just deposited five fifty one thousand. There should be more in there. There should be even more in there. What the hell? I mean, I don't care, but... Like, I'm not gonna use it, but... There should be more in there. Might as well heal up and get my MP back. Also, I'm curious what... Does she need less experience to level up now? It's weird. So everything has been recorded. We shall continue my adventure. And the adventure to get Maria one more level to get her final spell. Now, right, back to Hargon's castle. We could speed it up if we get a metal babble. Lizards. Uh, let's just lower the defense. I'm pointing out for the final boss. I don't think you need to be this high of a level. I'm. I don't think I'm usually this high level when I go fight the final boss. So, yeah. I think, if I remember correctly, usually I have Kane at around level 25, and Maria's typically around level 20. I think. So then that means my character would be around 27-ish. Uh, something like that. I think we are over-leveling. I think. Because I'm pretty sure I usually have, like, these characters at lower levels. But, you know, gotta get every spell, I guess. Devil Lords. Stop spell, might as well get my sword going. Well, two out of three ain't bad. Yeah, we're stopping uh, Firebane. Oh, everyone's poisoned. Actually, we'll let Kang heal up. Yeah, one's dead. Oh, they tried to use Sacrifice. That's not a good sign. Eh, 
And there we go. Alright. Kane, just heal everyone from Antidote. One more. Alright, there we go. Charm of Rubis. Time to do more level grinding. Only one more, though. Step... Step guard? Alright. And... Statue of Evil. Stop spell. Light sword, because why not? Might as well at least stop some of their attacks. Come on. Really? Explode it? Well, we got one of them. And sadly, I already know they're going to target the one that's already affected by... Yep, there it is. That's not who I would want them to attack. But there they are, attacking them anyway. Good to know that they have no resistance to lowering defense. At least in this version. Yeah, this version, they have zero defense, or resistance for sap. Actually, let's let Kane and Maria heal. But in the NES version, they had one out of seven resistance, meaning there's a chance it won't work. Okay, fine. Wait, how come I only... Oh, were they in separate groups? No, that makes no sense. I'm confused. When enemies have the ability to revive, that, it just makes things a little confusing, doesn't it? Come on. What's next? I like it. Stop spell. And... You know what? Just attack. Attack the metal babble. Good, we got stop spell to work. No one managed to hit it. Of course it ran. Okay, I have to know, what is the evasion of this thing? Because it is ridiculous. Staff oh, we got a Staff of Thunder. That's cool. I guess. Okay. Stop spell. Light sword. Metal Babble stays in. Of course it doesn't work. Why would it? It's only... Two out of seven chance it doesn't work, and of course Light Sword doesn't work either. Oh my god. Okay, let's try it again. Metal Babble stays in. Okay. 
Why? Why would it work? All right. I need to make a decision. Okay, and you go ahead and try stop spell again. You gotta heal. And Maria's dead. this. Really not. Okay. Finally. You know what? I'm okay with that. Okay. You go ahead and focus on that. You go ahead and revive. Okay. Even though the Gigantus was affected by uh, illusions, it didn't work. And you know what? Maybe revive is guaranteed to work. Maybe it got the 50% property in three. Because it seems to work every time. Uh, what is your evasion, little metal slime? It says one else. It says one out of 64. How come I can, like, never hit it? Another sword of destruction. Okay, I think in this case it's not actually about evasion. Some spell. Okay, two out of seven, my butt. There's no way it's two out of seven resistance, because it almost never freaking works on them. Honestly, I think in the Metal Slime's case, it's not really about evasion. It's that their defense is so high that it's technically saying you dealt zero damage. Which, I guess, is sometimes the same as a miss. up a lot of MP just reviving Maria. Alright. Uh, heal up, I guess. We might... He, it did wake up, but we'll focus on healing. If Kane doesn't get the kill before him. Never mind. It's all good, though. Yeah, I don't think the Metal ba Babble actually dodges. I think it's about... Uh... The defense being so high, you technically dealt zero damage. Although, I'm pretty sure I've seen the text say, Hey, you did zero damage. See, it didn't take any damage. Oh, that's where it is. It just says it didn't take any damage. Okay. okay. Can we get stop spell to work, please? You all. Good thing I already got Full heal going. Okay. No, these two need to heal. And Maria's dead. Alright, time to revive Maria. Okay, yeah, I think revive is a guaranteed thing. They might have changed it in three.
I still have pretty, plenty of MP. I can keep going. Alright. Try it again. Stop spell. Light sword. No babble stays in. We got... Okay, we, we did get stop spell. That's the big one. Both of you can go after the metal babble. Maria should... do the same thing. Okay. Going for it again. He's still here. Dang, King. Okay, Maria got a hit in, and... Um, yeah, there it is. He ran right before I could kill him. Power shield, power shield. Uh, that he only—I only needed to hit him like one more time, and that would have done it. That would have gotten me the kill. That sucks. I was so close on that one. setups. I think we got both on him. So let's just go for the attacks. Oh no, wait. Oh no, it just kind of just went through. Okay, that's fine. It happens. Stop spell. No, wait, uh, sleep. Okay, good, we got this. Get rid of the demon priest first. Shields, Staff of Thunder. There we go. Actually, I just thought of something. Uh, I just remembered. Okay, you Kane currently has a Staff of Thunder. Yeah, Light Sword is still stronger. Okay, just double checking. Still doesn't have a helmet. <laughs> well, if I ever need to multi-hit enemies for like 30 damage, Kane can also use Staff of Thunder. Because that's useful, right? Oh, both stayed in. We got Stop Spell to work. And we got the Light Sword to work. I'm gonna let Maria actually cast full heal on Kane. I want Kane to actually attack a metal babble. Alright. Maria heals herself. Ah, dang it, they both ran! Just when you think you're about to get one of them. I'll let Maria full heal. There we go. It's not hurting anything. Just when you think you're about to get a metal babble, you know? Then they run. 
Too bad Maria's just not strong enough to really do much against Metal Babbles. Most of the time she'll deal zero damage. But then again, even even the main character can too, so it's yeah. Um Load it, okay. Power shield, power shield. Perfect. Yay, we got a level up. It is me, level 32. Strength by three, speed by one, vitality by one, HP by two. Is that a good sign? We got one level. Are we kind of getting close to for Maria getting a level? I doubt it. Okay. Uh, sub spell and the light sword. And okay, one of them has been sealed. Let's heal first. Gotta play this a little bit carefully. Probably need to get out of here soon, though. You go ahead and revive. At least the one casting spells is, uh, wasn't using Explode It. Alright, now we're good. I could have lowered the I could have done that. Alright, lower their defense. But I'm gonna have to get out of here. And heal up. Kane has, like, no MP right now. Having to cast revive a couple times, you know, that uses up a lot of MP. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, Kang, go ahead and cast return. Alright, let's heal up. Where are we at in terms of EXP? Okay. Maria should level up before Kane. That's not bad, actually. You know what? We'll probably... We'll probably just train around here. Because that's not that bad. I don't think we need to go all the way to Hargon. Or Hargon's castle, I should say. Let's just train around here. Alright, uh, focus on you. Stop spell on these guys. Can we get illusion on Gigantus? Of course we can't. Why would we be able to? At least they're, they're still under the same name. Gigantus, let's see. Um, they have a 2 out of 7 resistance. That's why it doesn't always work. And Step of Thunder, I guess. They can't be put to sleep. You can use Sap, sap on them. Apparently, they're not sure about Fizzle, but it doesn't use magic anyway, so does it even matter? Huh. What's the difference with... Um, like, Dazzle looks the same between the NES version, so, yeah. Weird. Here we go, Archdemons. 
the start, stop spell and light sword going. Speaking of arch demons, I'm gonna look them up. Let's see. Hmm. Now let's let you both heal up. Yeah, they could drop prayer rings, which we did get one. You focus on so fizzle. They have a two out of seven resistance, which is the same resistance chance as the as the uh, you know, demon guys in the in the castle. Which you know, two out of seven means it happens all the time. They just have a hundred percent resistance. You can put them to sleep. Still two out of seven. Hmm. Sap is the only thing that's guaranteed. Interesting. But you can put them to sleep. Hmm. Maybe that's better. I mean, it's, it's the same chance as Illusion. Might as well. Uh, you might as well heal up. You need a heal, then everyone else can attack. Yeah, Maria got a crit. 79 damage. That's actually a lot. I actually didn't think it was going to be that much. Good. Managed to get the heal in. More Archdemons, please. Maybe if I hang out up here. And I'll focus on getting rid of uh, Blizzard. Both of them are affected by illusions. Good. There we go. Actually, I, I think I can lower their defense. Perfect. And might as well let Maria heal. Perfect. Just physical attack is not a big deal. An is it another sword of destruction? How nice of them! <laughs> they keep giving me swords of destructions. It's kind of hilarious. Uh, they're constantly trying to cast black. What's the chance they drop? It's a one in eight. It's not as bad as I thought. One and eight shot, that's actually kind of common. Okay. Yeah, I keep lowering my defense. One more left, right? Yeah. Ran out of MP to use, to try to use black, huh? Sucks to be you. Close. More Devil Lord, stop spell, and light sword. Well, we got two out of three. That's something. What do you mean it only worked on one of them? Uh, Firebane's the worst. What are you doing, Molly? You're being weird. Stop spell. Yeah, full, full heal came. 
It's not like I'm going to Hargon right now. Well, we affected another one. Got another one. Okay, got one killed. Let's try it again. Well, still didn't work. Can you please target the one that's... Dang it. Power shield. Fine. Keep attacking the ones that don't need to be killed right away. Uh, we'll let Kane heal. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Oh, wow. Kane just got... Really hates Kane. I mean, everyone does. To be, f to be fair. Come on. Where are they? I need. I actually want to fight more Archdemons. Devil Lords. Okay. Well, try to stop spell, I guess. Light sword. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay. Stop spell. Might as well get heal all going. Okay, two out of three ain't bad. Two out of three ain't bad. You all. Why are you attacking the one that doesn't that's not as big as a threat right now? Why do they do this? Attack the one that can use spells. This is the one annoying aspect of the Dragon Quest that I don't like. When enemies are in groups like this, you have to rely on the AI to target the one you actually want them to. And... They, it could be better. <laughs> I don't... Th I think, uh... In later games, you can actually target specific enemies if you really want to. So it's. I think it gets basically fixed later, but I don't know when. Ooh, Kane got a crit. Good for Kane. Right, you need to heal. So staff of. Why Staff of Thunder? Just lower the defense. And this should be enough. Good. There we go. Kane's level 30. Not who I... Okay, no, uh, Maria ne was able to get a level before Kane, so should be good. Kane's level 30. Strength by 3, speed by 1, vitality by 1, HP by 1, and MP by 3. Maria's level 25. Strength by 2, speed by 3, vitality by 1, HP by 3, MP by 5, and we learned a spell. Chance. Oh... What a waste of a final spell to get. <laughs> what a waste. Okay, I need to pull this up. I need to pull pull this up because it is basically metronome. If you play Pokemon, it is basically metronome. Let's look up the specifics. 
Okay. Uh, chance. Random spell effect. Or Hocus Pocus. That's the other name of the spell. No, let me get my save before I do anything. Yes, we're gonna make a save. Alright. So, Hocus Pocus. It's a random spell every time you use it. It could cast Black that affects all enemies. It could be a healing spell that affects all allies. It could be Kabuff to raise your defense, but it is a stronger Kabuff. Uh, all enemies become confused. We haven't seen confusion, so that's a new that's a new effect. A snooze spell that affects all enemies, not a group. A Kasap spell, but stronger than normal, so lowering the enemy's defense even stronger. The Sorcerer's Call, what is this? Which causes all allies to faint and all enemies to run away. The battle ends with no EXP or gold gain. But if you do this against the final boss, it just restarts the battle. Or revives a fallen party member with full HP. I don't know why you would really want to rely on this. Sorcerer's Call sounds like the worst thing to try to get. Uh, but... Because Maria gained her level... Almost all the spells. What? What do you mean, almost all the spells gain, uh, achievement? What do you mean by that? Hold on. Uh, Princess Moonbrook. Focus, focus. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I, I don't know what the freaking achievement means by almost. So, we are basically ready to go for the final boss. More or less. We gotta set something up first. Notice I did make a save at the monolith. We're basically ready to go after Hargon. First, I'm gonna cast a uh, step guard. So, with my save at. At the monolith, I want to... Let's just get rid of a couple things. Sell. Let's see. Um... No, we keep everything here. We'll sell the Sword of Destruction. We'll sell the other Sword of Destruction. Is that all I need to sell? I could keep the Staff of Thunder. It's not hurting anything. Same thing with the other prayer ring. Although I could put the other prayer ring in storage. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, okay. Let's throw the other prayer ring in storage. And I might as well just throw the gold in there. It's not going to hurt anything. I don't know why... It says I have a lot less gold in the bank. I'm gonna double check now. Another prayer ring. Okay, how much gold do I have? Okay, that's more like it. It's not fully updated, though. Alright. With everything here... One thing you do need to keep in mind. Have someone else, whether it's Ur whether it's the Prince of Minnethal or the Princess of Moonbrook, have one of them hold a Wing of Chimera. And I am going to... Finally! We're going to use the Inn. Welcome to the Traveler's Inn. One night is zero gold. 
Wow, what a good deal. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do this. Good morning. You must be well rested after last night. Is that one of your companions? Is he sick? Well, in that case, we'll take care of him until he gets well. What's going on with the with the Prince of Canock? Okay, that's not right. <laughs> Kane, uh, Kane is saying, I can't move. Hargon must have cursed me. But you must go on. Before long, I'll be dead. Now go. Don't worry about me. Ugh. So, I guess Kane is having an identity crisis right there. For some reason, he thinks he's Maria. I don't know why. Well, what you're supposed to do to cure Kane. Oh, and the music goes back. I forgot it does that, because we don't have a full party. Can I run? Good. Let's see if I can cast Repel. I don't care about spells. Uh... What you're supposed to do is to get a Yggdrasil leaf and then give it and then hand it to him. And then it will cure his curse. However, one of the achievements is defeat Hargon without the Prince of Canock. We're going to go fight the final boss with only two party members instead of three. Because who cares about Kane? He's currently having an identity crisis, so I don't know. Maybe that was part of the curse. Now, in the original NES version, as well as the Famicom version, does not have this whole Kane gets cursed sort of thing. That's not a part of it. That was added in every other version after the NES. But yeah, you're supposed to go all the way over here. Get yourself a... Scott Tane got a... You just... What is going on? Okay, whatever. You're supposed to get yourself a Yggdrasil leaf. And then head back. But we're not going to do that. Well, I need the Yggdrasil leaf anyway. But we're going to use a Wing of Chimera. Because it's the last spot we saved. We're back here. And let's go make a save. Why is my name Scott Tane now? Well, I don't understand. I think this just has to do with the wonky translation thing. I am not Scott. Apparently, I'm Scott Tane now. And Kane's Maria. And Maria's also Maria. All right, off to Hargon with only two party members. <laughs> okay. This isn't that bad. Light sword finally worked. Yeah, we're gonna have to play this a little bit carefully. One less party member changes everything, doesn't it? Good. Repel's not gonna matter. It, are we fighting less enemies? We might be. Well, for now, let's get a light sword going. Because I can't use Stop Spell. That's the annoying part, isn't it? No Stop Spell for me. Okay. Get to Hargon's castle. Oh, 
Okay. White sword, Gigantus. Please work. Dang it. And this is why you want to make sure Kane doesn't have anything important. Like, no keys. No Eye of Malroth. No Charm of Rubis. You need to make sure of all of that. Make sure he doesn't have anything important. And I'll let you heal again. And yeah, just physical attack. It'll be good. Okay, keep going. Go after the Cyclops, you cast Sleep on the Silver Devil. There we go. Easy fight. Easy fight. Oh, come on. Okay, same strategy again. And this is also the other reason why I wanted Maria to have the mystery cap. Because, let's be honest here, if Kane's gonna be cursed and not in the fight, might as well have Maria have it. Also, she's a, the better mage anyway. Okay, we made it to Hargon's castle. Charm of Rubis. I don't have step, step Guard. I'm not going to have that. So that's going to be annoying. That's going to be annoying. I mean, Middenhall's protected. But not Maria, so we're going to have to keep an eye out. Maybe we can get her healed in battle. That might be better. Statue of Evil. Actually, you know what? We'll have her heal more herself. There we go. Play is safe. Oh, wow, a bunch of green dragons. Finally got the time to pop in to okay. Very, uh... Very nice for you to show up for the final battle, Taylor. I finally did all the level grinding. I basically just got it done. And I don't know if you noticed this, but I... Uh, the Prince of Kanok is missing. <laughs> we stayed at the inn that I constantly said to never sleep at the inn at. And the Prince of Kanok got cursed by Hargon somehow. And he's out of the party. Uh, so basically, as soon as you get your ship, if you stay at the end, you can play the rest of the game without the Prince of Kanok if you wanted to. Uh, power shield. The reason why we don't have the Prince of Kanok with us is because one of the achievements is to defeat the final boss without him. So that's, or I should say, defeat Hargon without the Prince of Kanok. So yeah, we're gonna do a handicap right now. Okay, let's get rid of the, let's focus on the Demon Priest. I can put the Berserkers to sleep. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest here. Kane dies all the time. Does it really matter? Oh, I'm also going to point out, apparently Kane has an identity crisis because when we talk to him, uh, he, he thinks he's Maria. 
uh, he, he, the the text box that popped up for him said Maria. So, I I guess he's confused. Uh, also, uh, apparently, I'm not Scott Bot anymore. I'm like Scott Bain, or Scott Tane, I think. So, according to other people, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I guess that's what Hargon's curse does to ya. <laughs> I'll let you heal up, Maria. But yeah, uh, I had to grind uh, the Prince of Canock to level 28 and Maria to level 25 so they get all of their spells. That was another achievement. And I don't know if you showed up yesterday, but I had to do the lottery and that took like three hours because I just had to get one of the top three rewards out of the lottery. It took like three hours. I hate the lottery game so much. I was going, I was going insane there. But now, we've made it here. Oh no, I forgot about this room. Okay, gotta play it safe. Gotta keep an eye on Maria's HP. Now uh, let's heal her. Uh, heal more. Okay. We'll cast heal more again. Get her fully healed. And we made it. Doing that for three hours would make it to, pretty much. Because here's the thing about the slots in this game. Unlike slot, the slots in like the casino and later Dragon Quest games where it's literally just random. There's a timing involved in this. Somewhat. And that's what frustrates me because you think you're getting close and you're about to get it right and then... You get two suns and then a heart, and it's just like, dang it. And you knew you were, like, one frame off. Anyway, who's there? Who's disturbing my prayer? Foolish people. Don't you know that it is I, the evil Prince Hargon? I do know it's you. If that is so, then there will be no forgiveness. You will soon realize your stupidity. Ah, the evil priest Hargon. At last, we can finally get rid of you. I'm gonna see if I can cast... If I can lower your defense. Let's see if that works on ya. Ah, he can attack twice. And no, lowering defense does not work. Power shield? Okay, good. Okay. I'm going to take a second to heal up there. Is there a chance we can cast Illusion on it? Of course it didn't work. Why should I be surprised? I'm not surprised. Uh, full heal. Can he even be affected by anything? Oh, wow, exploded. Okay, we got a single character to beat this guy with. Okay, I gotta heal. I gotta, I gotta heal. This is gonna be harder <laughs> than I thought. Oh, no. See, I'm Scott Tane now, apparently. I don't know why. Okay, I did not think it was going to be... I did not think it was going to be like that. I have never attempted fighting... Fighting Hargon without the... Without Kane. I have never done this. Okay, hold on. Is there anything we can... We can do to him? That is rough. And here's the thing. Uh... If we had Kane, we could have, like, buffed our own defense, and that would have helped. Let's see. Is there anything we can do? Sword. Okay, you cannot get Dazzle on him. So, no illusions. 
He cannot be put to sleep. You can't lower his defense. You can't cast Flack, so no instant death. I'm not surprised there. That would have been funny. Uh, even then, Kane's the one that has instant death. You can put Stop Spell on him. But Kane's the one that has Stop Spell, so it doesn't mean anything. Alright, Antidote. Okay, this is going to be harder than I thought. So, he can attack twice per turn. He has infinite MP. That's where Stop Spell would be nice on him. There's no point in using the Light Sword or Sleep. He only has 460 HP. Like, that doesn't sound that bad, but he's actually way stronger than you'd think. He can't really do much. Okay, so now that I know I can't do anything to him... Like that. Maria's just gonna be there for healing. And... Maybe defending if needed. So now that I have an idea of what I need to do... We can do it again and probably get a better success. Now... I did save the seeds... I could go back and bring him out of storage and start using them up. Let's get rid of you. Let's first light sword Gigantus. Please work. Thank you. Okay. Gotta keep an eye on everything. I am going to have... You focus on the Gigantus, you are going to heal. Now, if mid-battle for the final boss, if I'm starting to run low on NP, that's when I will use the Prayer Rings. Can you get sleep on the Archdemon? Of course you can't. It's, I mean, it's not like the Archdemon has two out of seven resistance to sleep, you know. Alright. Heal up, Maria. Yeah, Hargon's gonna be a lot tougher than I thought. Definitely a step up from the Dragon Lord of the first game. Definitely a step up. Uh, let's lower your defense at this point. Man, the, the path to Hargon's a lot harder to get to when freaking you don't have stop spell. <laughs> Jeez, now I wish I had Kane with me. You know what? You need to heal up. You also need to heal up. But yeah, how's it going on your end, uh, Tyler? What's been going on? I want you to focus on the Gigantus. Can we please get the Archdemon to sleep? Oh, thank you, it worked. Okay, let's have you heal up. Hopefully, Gigantus will get out of here. There we go, perfect. You go ahead and heal. You lower defense. Go for the attack! You woke up. Started replaying Xenoblade. Ooh. Just don't usually do that for long games. Yeah, uh, Xenoblade 1, specifically. Which Xenoblade? I should say. Speaking of Xenoblade, uh, I actually started Xenoblade 2 not long ago. Uh, first playthrough. Just kind of slowly going through it, but I'm also playing like multiple games, so I kind of get distracted here and there. Jeez, they really got, got a lot of attacks in there. Never actually played two. Come on. 
What is this? Alright, light sword it is. There we go, that helps. Um, power shield, light sword, Cyclops. There we go. Playing the first one. I'm, that's a good game. It really is. Uh, when I first full no, I think I borrowed it for a little bit for the Wii from a friend. I don't remember how far I got, but. I did end up getting the 3DS version of it, and I played through that, and that's when I first beat the entire game. And then, you know, you get Definitive Edition on Switch, and it's like, why would I play any other version? <laughs> Actually, play the other games, but I'm really can see if I can the others at some point. Yeah, uh, one thing that kind of held me back of buying two or, you know, just getting to is... I was always confused on the DLC. For the fact that it has a fiscal release. That just really threw me off. And I'm constantly wondering, like, do I get the physical release of the DLC? Or do I just get the digital DLC like how I would do, like, any other form of DLC? Like, I didn't know, like, how big... I, I still don't know how big the DLC campaign is. Like, is it worth getting a physical copy of that or not? I know it's slightly more money, but if the game in itself is large enough, it might be worth getting a physical copy anyway to part of it to save up space. Um... Alone, let alone I have not played three. Yay, we got a level. Who got the level? It is me! Level 33, strength by one, HP by eight. And we found a sword of destruction. Can anyone even hold it? Oh, Maria has it. Okay. I can sell it later. All right. Let's break the illusion. I do have Xenoblade Chronicles X, and I got pretty far in there, but I never beat it. I need to go back and play through that game. Like, that's one of those games that's just like, I need to go and finish. Okay, now you go ahead and heal yourself. And I know everyone says I'm about waiting for, like, a port for it. But at this point, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think Chronicles X is going to get a Switch version. Maybe a Switch 2, but I think I heard them say that that game is so large that they basically have to more or less start over from scratch. It's that big. Oh, really? Your first, first Xenoblade was X? I always hated how tiny the text was. I, yeah, I agree to that. I remember that being a problem. Okay, what do I do? You know what? I, I'm going to ignore the metal babble. Because I'm pretty sure it's just going to run and I need to get rid of the demon priest. Oh yeah, go ahead and lower my defense. Metal Babble's still here. Okay. He's still here. There he goes. There he ran. 
It was worse because my TV was also very small the first time in text. That makes me think of my first playthrough of, uh, what was it? Star Ocean, The Lost, The Last Hope on PS3. The first time I played it, I played it on a smaller TV and I could not read the text. It was way too small. It was hurting my eyes. I eventually did go back and play through that game all the way through. Because at some point I did stop and I don't remember why. I think I got distracted. But yeah, eventually I went back and played through it. It's not that bad of a game. I think that's the only Star Ocean game I played, though. Okay, almost at Hargon again. Was it like seven damage? Okay. Uh, heal all, sure. This is where Step Guard would have been nice. Now let's. Make sure Maria's in full health, I guess. Actually, you know what? We'll cast heal more on Erdrick as well. Alright. Yeah, I don't remember why I kind of stopped playing X. I think it was like... I remember getting to a boss and like I couldn't beat him for whatever reason. And I just thought, oh, I need a level grind. And I just kind of stopped. And I was already really far into the game. Alright. Let's see. I could try casting Exploded. Maria is really going to focus on healing. But since turn... Of course Exploded doesn't work. Why would it? Maria, you're just gonna be the white mage right now, because you can't really do anything. Heal all. Of course it failed. Um, revive. Okay, I can live with that. Heal all. Okay, good. Okay. Get in there. You go ahead and heal yourself. Dang it! Maria's dead! Alright. Just has to be me, then. Heal more, really? Alright. Come on, keep going. Nope. There's not much I can really do. What? What is your speed? I did not know this was going to be this difficult. Your speed is 150. What is ours? Okay. I'm not 91. See, there it is. Like, he has 30 more speed than Maria. And Maria is my fastest unit. Even if I have... By uh, agility seeds, I don't think it will be enough to outspeed him. Even if they don't force. All right, then take another crack at the concept. Wait, did X have multiplayer? It's been way too long since I even played that game. Also, like, I remember, like, I was trying to mess around with, like, the whole, what was it, like, you mine things on the overworld and you, like, set things up to, uh, like, 
to auto generate like getting ore and stuff and there was like some spots I wanted to get to but I couldn't for whatever reason or I don't remember. It's been way too long. Very limited multiplayer. Like what could you do with multiplayer in X? That's a game I need to go back to and just play all the way through again and just actually beat it. Okay. Can we get this guy to sleep? Yes. Good. We go ahead and focus on him. I might as well get Light Sword going. There were certain missions you could swat up with other players. And... Oh, was it basically just like raids, more or less? Like you do raid fights? Well, you can't do that anymore now. Because they shut off the features. So, I could go back and get some defense seeds, too, and give them to my character, because that's part of the problem, too. His attack is 177. It's way stronger than you think. If I raise my defense and maybe my attack... Uh, what? What are we looking at? Vitality would be defense, right? Well, that's a lot lower than I thought it would be. That was a big draw to you? Uh, to me it wasn't. That wasn't it. Uh, it wasn't the multiplayer, because I almost never play anything multiplayer. So, oh no, my defense is 169. Nice. Hmm. But I think Vitality does affect defense, so... Yeah, there's a big difference. I wonder... Yeah, maybe I should use this. I saved those seeds for a reason. It was specifically because of this. Now I think it might be time to start going back and using them. Kane is the biggest masochist drag plus dying every stream. No, no, well, no, he, he's not dead. He's just cursed by Hargon. That's why he's not here. And he also thinks he's Maria now. I don't know why. But how's it going, Hot Corn Dog? How's it going? And I'm trying to think if there is a different Dragon Quest character that's a bigger masochist. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just I'm like having trouble thinking if there is one. There might be. I just can't think of it. So, what you kind of missed, Hot Corn Dog? It's I was training Maria for about an hour. Get her to level 25. We got her final spell. Then, we're starting to fight Hargon. But one of the achievements is beat Hargon without the Prince of Canock, a.k.a. Kane. And you do that by sleeping at the end that I've constantly been saying don't sleep at the end. It is a, it is a free stay at the end, so it makes you think it, it's luring you to sleep there. But no, the Prince of Canock... No, nope, don't want to do that. Prince of Canock, you know, he stayed at the inn and now he thinks he's Maria. And he says he's cursed, so he's sick. Also, sometimes I'm Scott Tane now. I don't know why. Some characters call me Scott. See, Scott Tane. 
I don't wonky translation thing, whatever. I don't know why. But yeah, we gotta beat Hargon without the prince. And it's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Xenoblade is my big one favorite JRPG. It's up there. I've only played Xenoblade 1 a couple times, and it is really good. Like, I never really think about it as like my favorite JRPG. But like every time I think about Xenoblade 1, I'm like, yeah, you know what? That is a good game. Fallout 4 update happened today. It's marvelous. Only seven crashes in an hour. Wow. I was expecting ten. Uh, here. Uh, much better compared to launch day with ten crashes in 30 minutes, I see. Doom 1993 is my favorite JRPG. I see. But you know what predates Doom? Dragon Quest. Take that, Doom. <laughs> you suck. I don't know. Uh, let's ignore the metal battle. See, it runs away anyway. Like a coward. So yeah, I did not know Hargon was going to be this tough with two people. Because this is the first time I'm attempting this. Dragon Quest taking all titles? Exactly. Yeah, no, I did not know Hargon was going to be this difficult with two people. Because what's basically happened is... You cannot get... You cannot lower his defense. You cannot cast Dazzle. You cannot put him to sleep. So Maria's now at the point where she's just the healer. She is now an exclusive white mage and nothing else. I tried having her use Explode It. It didn't work, because apparently Hargon is immune to that. I don't know why, but he is. Is it... is... Okay, no. It is considered a fire spell. I guess every attacking spell is considered fire. Somehow. Uh, I guess it makes sense when you consider an explosion. It is... Okay, no. He has a 2 out of 7 resistance. So, I just got very unlucky. Just like how these demon priests have a 2 out of 7 chance of being immune to... Uh, being immune to stop spell. I'm gonna be honest, it does not feel like it's two out of seven. It honestly feels like it's a uh, four out of seven, you know, sometimes. This is gonna be my third attempt at Hargon. I think Maria going for uh, explode it turn one when she doesn't need to heal anyone isn't the worst idea because he could she could hit him and she doesn't need to heal anyone but yeah I am actually thinking of going back to the storage and using those stat boosting seeds give Maria some more uh, speed give Erdrick or my character whatever you want to call him uh, give him some more defense and maybe some HP and attack. Just give him the rest, basically. <laughs> all right, heal all. And we might as well just cast heal more. Alright, Hargon, third attempt. It was disturbing my player. Do you know that is I, the evil priest? If so, you shall die for being stupid. And you know what? He is not wrong. Alright, I can't really do much. Yeah, you can't put him to sleep. You can't cast around on him. You can't lower his defense. So, that sucks. We'll just try this. Wasn't effective on Hargon. Oh, also, he can attack twice. Okay. That's actually the most annoying thing I find about Dragon Quest. Whenever they do, like, a final boss. Or just, like, any boss in Dragon Quest. Usually how they make it more difficult is by making them attack twice. 
per turn. And it's always the most annoying thing. That critical hit is really going to help me, isn't it? Power shield. No one fell asleep. That's good. That was a wasted turn for him. We defeated Hargon without the without Kane. With, uh, here, let, let me show proof. See that crit mattered, pretty much. Where is it? Where is it? It's, uh, did not take. No, it's here somewhere. Uh, there it is. Defeat Hargon, the evil priest, without the prince of, uh, without the prince of Canock on your team. It is missable, apparently. I don't know how, but it is missable. I, I have been defeated. Soon, you will meet your end, just as I have. Even though you have defeated me, you still have not saved the world. <coughs> oh god of destruction, Mauroth, I sacrifice myself to you. Come forth. Ugh. What was that about? We're all fully healed. We're good to go. What? Oh, no. So is this full floor going to go down another floor? Because you kind of made a circle around. Final boss. Mount Shador. It's, okay, that's weird. He said Malroth, which that is his English name, but for whatever reason, he's called Shidor in here. That's weird. Okay. Uh, I, you know what? Can we do anything to Malroth? Like, lower his defense. You can lower his defense. So, yeah. Hargon's plan the entire time was just to summon Malroth. That was his plan. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can beat him. Without Kane. Power shield. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's see... Do another attack. Can you do anything? Let's just use explode. Oh no, I'm dead. Malroth. Now, one thing that I learned about the NES version of Malroth, apparently he has like a very low amount of HP. And I think this is the case for the Dragon Ward in the first game, too, in the NES. Like, really low HP. But they just have a constant regen. And that's how they got around, uh... Like, making a boss fight tougher. So, like... Okay, yeah. Malroth in the original NES version had has 250 HP. That is not much, but when you keep in mind he has a regen constantly, that makes a difference. Can we even do anything? Oh, we can do something else. He is susceptible to the light sword. Doesn't work, but he there is a chance. It's a 4 out of 7. Let's see. Yeah. But in every other version, he ha they actually gave him a proper amount of HP at for a final boss. He has 1,750. So, you know, he's actually final boss worthy. <laughs> Who has the highest HP in the first game? Uh, it would be the Dragon Lord. But he probably has... A, a, it's probably the same thing like a regen. Okay, hold on. Let me try the light sword again. Didn't work. He has some resistance to it. Uh, heal all. Okay, hold on. Light sword again. 
Come on. Didn't work. Okay, everyone needs healing. Uh, power shield. There he is, power shield. So you let me look at the dragon lord. Okay, he can raise his defense. Dragon quest. Uh, dragon lord. Let me look at his stats. I better lower his defense. Yeah, we can't have any of that. Maria's probably gonna run out of HP. Or MP, I should say. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and power shield. I still want to try to get the light sword going. It finally works. Now his physical atta attacks have a harder chance to hit. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, Dragon Lord, let me look at your let me look at your stats. Obviously, it doesn't affect the his breath attacks, but if he tries to do a physical attack, see, look at that, and I think it's permanent too. He can't cure it. Let's go lower his defense one more time. So let's see. Okay, the Dragon Lord in the first game. In the original NES, the first form, the human, the human-like form, he has 100 HP in the NES version. And then in the remakes, he has 240 HP. I think in the NES version, he has some sort of regen to make him a little bit harder. Because he doesn't have a healing spell. However, the remakes do give him a healing spell, mid-heal. The final form, the actual dragon form, in the original NES version, it has he has 130 HP. But it's that regen. He has a regen. That's why he's a lot tougher. Oh, shoot. In the remix, he has 361 for the final form. Gonna have to spend a little bit more time. I'm gonna be honest, this was not the plan to actually beat Malroth with uh, just these two characters. A beautiful voice is heard out of nowhere. The, goddess of the god of destruction, Malroth, has been destroyed. Once again, peace has returned. Up until now, I have always been watching over you. The gods have renewed all life. Made the light... I couldn't read all that. Sh shine, made the light shine upon you, my descendants. Too bad, I did it anyway. Exactly. Who needs the... Who needs the Prince of Canock? Who cares? And look at that. The castle is gone. I'm Scott Tain now, still. Uh, let me show that off. So... That achievement was just beating the final boss. You didn't have to actually beat him without the Prince without the Prince of Canock. You just needed to defeat Hargon without him. That so that was not a part of the plan. If I lost to Malroth, I could have I was gonna run back and go get Kane. So now we are at the point where we need to head back to the castle. There's no random encounters. You could take your time. You could go visit every town if you want and talk to all the villagers. <coughs> There's still two more achievements. One of them is just get to the end credits. But there is one more achievement we have to do before we go and do that. So let's go ahead and take this pathway. If we talk to you... Oh, Scott Tain! <laughs> I'm Scottbot. Scott Tain, you are truly wonderful. The evil gods have been destroyed and soon will be completely gone from the land of Rhone. For a long time, I have watched over the fate of people from here. This role has come to an end, and now I bid you farewell. Oh, gods, watch over the descendants of the hero Roto. Now go! Everyone will be awaiting your return. Yeah, you can't save. I mean, why would you want to at this point? Thanks to you, the people at- Oh no. Uh, 
but that's a soft lock. Well then, time to fight Malroth again. <laughs> that was uneventful. <laughs> Thanks to you, the people have been saved. Thanks to you, the people have been saved. Oh no, this will never end. There's nothing I can do. Oh no, that sucks. Okay, we gotta go fight Malroth again. At least I beat Malroth and Hargon without the Prince, Prince of Canock. So... That was impressive. I'll take it. How uneventful. Uh, since I already got the achievement, though, let's go ahead and go get him. We can make it easier. I have nothing to prove. I already proved it. <laughs> you saw me prove it. Okay. This is why I went to grab the Yggdrasil leaf. What? Wait. What? Oh, is it so I can rearrange his stuff? Hold on. Do I talk to him first? I can't move. Halagron must have cursed me. Again, he thinks he's Maria now. Leaf of the World Tree. Kane? Grounded up the Leaf of the World Tree and fed it to Kane. What? Kane's complexion started to look a little better. Kane has recovered. Thank you. I'm feeling much stronger. And I know I'm not Maria. It was wrong of me to tell you not to worry. Oh. Okay, so he thinks he's Maria again. I, I am so confused. Well, we got Kane back. That's... that's something. I have... now that we've actually saved Kane, you can use this in whenever you want. That... I, I don't think that's right. <laughs> I don't think it costs... 1100... 11,000 gold to stay at the inn. I'm pretty sure that's not right. I think we're at the point where the game just dis doesn't know what to do. Uh, Sword of Destruction. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the game knows what to do anymore. It's, uh... I guess this, this version still has its issues. <laughs> or this translation Super Nintendo English patch thing still has some issues. <laughs> that has never been fixed. Get out of my way. Oh, wait. I could just cast return. There we go. Hey, if I could beat Hargon and Malroth without Kane, without the seed upgrades, then I can do it with Kane. Might as well save. It's not going to hurt anything. Turn be recorded. Continue. Yes. Now I know that she's basically a trap. Yeah, I don't trust her anymore. All right, let's go. Let's go defeat the final boss again. But I'm making it easier on myself this time. I have nothing to prove. We only got two more achievements to get. Okay, so... Focus on... Let's just focus on the Devil Lords. Then, Light Sword. And... Who needs... Like, you know, I, I, I find it funny that... We could go ahead and kill, like, a god, right? But then, as soon as someone just cannot stop talking, that's where we... that's where we lose. I guess our characters just don't know how to step away from a conversation, you know? I... I think... I think these, uh, prince and princess... I think they just... They don't know how to just 
They have no social skills, that's what it is. to go fight Hargon again. And Malroth, who is a lot easier than Hargon, honestly. <laughs> because Maria was actually able to do something. That's why it was only it was easier. She was able to lower his defense. And actually cast Dazzle on him, so there's stuff she was able to do instead of just healing. done with this. Uh, Charm of Rubis. Uh, hey, I'm back to Scottbot now. <laughs> I'm not Scott Tane anymore. I don't, like, I am using technically, like, the more Japanese translation in terms of names. I could have been using the English one. Or the more localized version. I don't know if using that version would have changed anything, but how come they were affected by that? That has never been a problem. It really seems like this SNES version, ROM, translation, whatever the problem is, still needs to be fixed. And it's never gonna get fixed of whatever bugs it has. Part of the problem is I just don't know how much of this is the actual game itself. Like, the original Japanese version, or if this is just a problem with the English translation. Power shield. Need to heal. There we go. Everyone needs healing. I mean everyone. King could probably use another heal. Might as well cast Illusion. It's not going to hurt anything. Yay, get out of here. <sighs> Almost there. This is so dumb. Okay, made it here. Step guard. Save me some MP. There we go. Hargon, I have come to bargain. I have come to bargain. Okay. Now, we can't really get any status effects on him, but we can raise my own defense. And I guess Maria will explode it, I guess. Hey, it actually worked this time. Now this fight is going to be a little bit easier. See, look, 20 damage per hit now for physical attacks. That already makes this way more manageable. And now we shall go with... I might as well just use heal all. 
There we go. Go with heal more. Because Maria can't really do anything. Explode it. That still does a lot of damage. Power shield. Yay, Hargon's defeated. See? Easy! <laughs> when you have when you can boost your defense. Who needs crits? Alright, summon Malroth. Go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, it's definitely way easier when you can boost your defense. Alright, Malroth. Or Shidor. Whatever. And I'm still gonna boost my defense. I'm gonna lower his. Oh, I forgot. You can attempt to cast Stop Spell on uh, Hargon. I could have done that. You know what? Let's go ahead and attempt to heal. It is a... He has 4 out of 7 resistance for it. Okay, well... I'll revive him. I mean, Kane's, Kane died. What else is new? You go ahead and cast Increase. You go ahead and full heal. Alright. I'm actually going to he cast Heal more on Maria, so... Actually, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have Kane use the Light Sword, because I forgot for a second he had it. And then Maria's going to heal herself. Breath. Okay. Didn't work. Alright. Um, you go ahead and heal yourself. You go ahead and try to use the light sword. We know it works. We know it does. Alright. You go ahead and heal. You full heal. There we go. Okay. Light sword, because I I, I want to do this. <laughs> Power shield. Oh my god. There, it finally worked. All right, you go ahead and heal yourself. You full heal. Well, I got revive, that's for sure. Okay. Healing. Let's get some healing in. The problem with having like three characters for this now is that there's just too many characters to like heal up, you know? You know what? Let's go ahead and power shield, and I gotta revive Kane. There we go. You go ahead and attack. You boost our defense. You lower his. Oh. Even if we die, we still keep our def uh, defense boost. I didn't know that. Um... Go ahead and attack. Lower his. So was this fight easier with two people? <laughs> uh, let's heal up. Power shield. Power shield. Okay, he's boosting his defense. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Kane heal and then I'm gonna lower his defense some, some more. Uh, that was a good turn. You know what? We're all gonna heal. All of us. Okay. 
Well then. Wow. With three characters, Malroth is still hard. All right, time to heal up. I guess the reason why Hargon might be considered missable is that if you if I decide to save, I think we just fight Malroth now. I don't know if that's true or not, but so I think I think uh, Malroth is a lot harder when you have three people because there's more people to cure. That's what that's what this game is telling me right now. I love how I could beat a boss on the first try, and now I'm having trouble. <laughs> Hargon's easier. Mauroff is somehow harder. <coughs> and I don't know why. I don't know why he's considered harder. Uh, with three people, anyway. You can put him to sleep? Excuse me? You can put Mauroff to sleep? I mean, it's not likely. <coughs> it's not likely to happen. He has six out of seven resistance to it. So it's a one out of seven chance to actually get it to stick. Apparently you can put him to sleep though. That's funny. Okay. Come on. Just you focus on that. You go ahead and actually you get rid of that, you power shield, you Sap of Thunder, I guess. We wouldn't have to be doing this again if we weren't just caught in the text loop. You could blame the NPC just, like, malfunctioning. I guess that that NPC is a literal robot and just constantly malfunctioned while trying to talk. Okay, come on. Oh look, Archdemons. Can I get stop spell on you? My sword. Okay, I couldn't get stop spell. But I got illusion. Let's just continue to do this. I'm trying to think of like, what is the hardest final boss in Dragon Quest? I don't think it's Malroth. I I would say no on that. Like, as we can see, he is tough. Don't treat him lightly. But hmm. To be honest, it's been a while since I played some of the games that I don't remember which ones were actually hard. Maybe nine? Nine could have been that pretty hard. It was like a four-phase boss fight, if I remember correctly. I remember four and five's final boss not being that bad. I still technically haven't beaten six, so I don't really know on that one. Maybe three's final boss is harder. And eight wasn't that bad. Unless we count Dol Megas, you know, the first final boss that's halfway through the game. Because <coughs> I'm always, like, almost underprepared for him. Ah. 
actually an eight. I always find the god bird and Pyra to be the hardest boss. And that's not even remotely final. It's not even like that fitting of a boss to be like that difficult. It just is. Chat, what's a difficult final boss in like any game? What are considered some difficult final bosses? Because I, I can't really think of like any Final Fantasy final boss that's actually that hard. It probably needs to be more considered super bosses, maybe, but I don't know. Can't think of anything. Exactly, like, what final boss is actually that hard? Uh, let's go ahead and stop spell and light sword. Of course it doesn't work. Again, I do hate how Dragon Quest handles, like, their very tough fights. Because I'll, the main thing that they do to make it harder is just to let them attack twice. I find that more annoying than anything. Again, I think Dragon Quest IX might have been harder, but maybe it was because it was a four-phase fight. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that actually sticks. It's been too long since I played that game. I don't remember Sevens being that hard. But the fact that I don't ever remember what Seven's final boss is probably means it wasn't that difficult. I didn't really struggle when I played through Dragon Quest Seven at all, so not that I, not that I can remember anyway. I don't. Fully remember if 11 was that difficult for the final boss. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything. Maria's level 26, strength by 1, speed by 3, vitality by 1, HP by 4, MP by 9. She, she has a higher chance of going first now. Again. Charm of Rubis. I don't know why it, f like, failed last time. Is this the most annoying part of, like, the final boss, if you fail, just the trek back to it? I think this is the most annoying part about it. Just the constant trek back to the final boss. I mean... Fine, but like, I, don't, I don't really care if I get a kill. And look, they both ran away, so it didn't really matter. And of course I don't manage to get Stop Spell or Illusion on them. Why would I? Why would I be able to do that? Two out of seven resistance, my butt. It doesn't work. Let's heal up while I have the chance. Okay. Up. Oh, not yet. Demon Priest. Get out of here. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like done with this. I was done with this like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> but no. The game had to malfunction when you talk to someone. From now on, when we beat the final boss, I'm only talking to people that's necessary. 
AKA one character, then go get the credits. Guard. Almost there. And hey, look, it's Hargon. Okay, so he doesn't disappear. So how is it miss? Oh, it's missable because if you freaking already saved Kane, then you failed, then that becomes missable. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know why that didn't occur to me. All right, let's go. Yeah, it's only missable because you could have revived Kane from the sickness already. Duh. Oh, that's fair. He's just like, nah, I'm just gonna get a sneak attack on ya. He just gets a sneak attack on me. That's freaking fair. Um, yeah, we gotta go with increase and raise my defense. At least when he casts Explode It, he only gets to attack once. So that helps. Increase, and then we are going to... Actually, in some ways, him casting Explode is usually is sometimes the better option. Alright. Power Shield. Power Shield. Oh no, Kane's asleep. How can I cast Stop Spell on him now? Oh, he's awake. You know what? I'm going to have him try to cast Stop Spell. And I might as well just heal Kane. Wait. I actually sealed his spells. He can't cast freaking... Uh, <laughs> he can't freaking cast Kaboom. That's hilarious. Actually, you know what? I'm going to let Kane attack, and I'll just let Maria heal Kane, because she can't really do anything anymore. Yeah, he can't cast Explode It. But I can! We defeated him with Explode It. How fitting. I've been defeated! Alright. Okay, Mauer off. Let's try this again. Let me look. As. Okay. I'm gonna have Kane focus on increasing our defenses. I'm actually going to ignore lowering his defense for a minute, and we're just going to try to get Illusion on him. Okay. Now I just- now I need to heal. See, I already need to heal. Kane, boost our defense, full heal. There we go. Perfect. We'll let him do that for now. That's fine. Okay. We're done with increase. I'm gonna let Kane. Oh wait, no, wrong character. I'm gonna let Kane use the light sword. Actually, we're, we're just going to have them both use the light sword. We finally got him. Okay, good. That helps. That'll help a little bit. I'm going to have Kane heal himself, and I'm going to have Maria start lowering his defense. He already boosted his, his defense once, 
So I probably need to do this two more times, but because when he does that, that's really annoying. Our shield. It's better if I heal myself. Oh, good. Okay. Well, Kane can go ahead and... Actually, you know what? I'm going to have Kane cast heal more, and then I'm going to lower his defense. That's fine. I'm okay with this. Same thing. Oh, he lowered mine. Okay, I gotta keep that in mind. I gotta boost my defense again. Increase, and then lower his defense one more time. Okay. He is currently at the lowest defense. I am at max. I'm gonna let Kane... Nah, he's actually close to full health anyway. He attacks. I'm gonna have Maria try to put him to sleep. Didn't work. I mean, he has really high resistance to it. Okay, now I can't try to do that. Kane, you heal yourself. Maria, go ahead and full heal. Kane's dead. Uh, Maria, heal yourself. Uh, no, we'll have Maria full heal. Can't risk that. Okay, yeah, we're okay with that. Revive Kane. Okay, he lowered our defenses. Gotta raise it back up. Increase. Now I just want to put him to sleep. That'd be hilarious. Okay. I'm gonna let Kane heal. I really want to put him to sleep. The internet is telling me you're able to do that. And the internet never lies. Okay, let's heal up. Oh, shit. We defeated him again! <laughs> Get out of here, Milroth. <coughs> I remembered to turn off my mic. There we go. Okay. Let's just not talk to anyone. Yay, Hargon's castle is destroyed. Again. And I am not going to talk to anyone. Whatsoever. We could have been done with this a while ago if I didn't talk to anyone. But no, it got an extension. Not on purpose, though. Okay, let's try this again. We're going... There are no enemies on the overworld anymore, kind of like Dragon Quest 1. Alright. I am not talking to you, but I'm taking the teleporter. Because even though the Cave of Rhone has no enemies, I still don't want to go through the Cave of Rhone. I blame the commoners. Ex I do too. I do too. And look, it, I didn't need the door key for whatever reason. Alright. You can't save. I am not gonna just. I'm not gonna talk to anyone. I don't trust anyone anymore. But before we go to. Uh back to the home castle. We need to go to uh, Alifgard. We need to take a stop at Alifgard. Alifgard. And I can't zoom anywhere. That's the annoying part. <laughs> I 
I wish I had zoom. I could just zoom to Alifgar, or to Tentacle Castle. But no, it's return, not zoom. Who needs zoom? Uh, I think I have to... Because I can't save anywhere, so I gotta take this the long way. Go south. Underneath. Here we go. Then we want to go over here. And we want to go to Charlock Castle, actually. We're going to go visit. We're going to take a visit to uh, the Dragon Lord's son. Or grandson, I should say. Again, how did he have a kid? I, I don't want to know who, who he had to sleep with just to have a grandson. I, I, don't, I don't really want to think about that, honestly. Because I don't think the Dragon Lord reincarnates. <laughs> I don't think it's one of those. He specifically says he's his grandson. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get all the way through this cave. It's definitely helpful when no enemies spawn. Definitely makes this go a lot faster. I actually don't know why we're doing this. Uh, I, there must be like some sort of special dialogue for visiting the grandson. All I know is the achievement says I need to. So it must be special dialogue. Definitely goes a lot faster when there are no random encounters. Alright. Almost there. Here we go. Okay, what do you have to say? Oh, Scottbot, you have arrived! I am very pleased! Aside from old matters, we have become good friends! From now on, I call you Spot Scottbot, and you can call me Ryu. <laughs> That's it. Okay, whatever. I guess we're friends now. Uh, let's get out of here. I guess we're friends. <laughs> now we can head back. Here. Uh. uh da, 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 da. Probably down here. Become friends with King Dragon's grandson after saving the world to find out his name. His name is Ryu. Grandson better be something like invest in crypto before boom. Before and sell it before X year. Before it crashes again. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably what he should do. Okay, we need to head back to Middenhall. Now we're basically done, more or less. Take the boat up here. So, you could visit other castles. I'm gonna point this out, and I looked this up. If you didn't have the Prince of Canock with you because he's still under the curse, if you can either go to Middenhall or Canock, and he'll just show up. He's just like, oh, I, I guess you must have defeated Hargon because my curse is gone. I'll join you. So, he's there for the credits. You think the Dragon Lord can see into the future? If he could, he probably would be able to see that he was going to die. You know what? If Dragon Quest 2 ever got like a proper remake of some sort, I could easily see a super boss involving the Dragon Lord. Easily. He is right there. And we're back at Middenhall. So yeah, 
if you didn't have the Prince of Canock, apparently you can either go to Canock Castle or Middenhall here, and he'll just show up, probably right here, be like, Hey, I'm cured! You defeated, uh... You defeated Maloth without me. That's a little disappointing, but hey, it's gone now, so that's nice. Actually, uh, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. Let's just talk to him. Prince Scottbot, you are truly a descendant of the hero Roto. I take pride in the fact that you are my son. You are truly, you truly are wonderful. When the new age begins, I want you to lead the people. Prince Scottbot, I be uh, bequeath the throne to you. Will you accept? No! What? You cannot be serious. Will you accept it? Sure, fine. Kind of roped into it. So be it. That is your decision. Did everyone hear that? This is the inception of the new king of Middenhall. Now Prince Kane, Princess Maria, step forward. From now on, you three should combine your power and protect the world. All hail the new king. All hail King Scottbot. Oh, they actually played the trumpets. That is in-world music. Not just regular video game music. I don't see anyone playing the violins, so... Rigged. Is there more text to this? We actually have a day and night cycle. It's... And apparently they have fireworks. Who knew? So... Something about the ending. Apparently, this was the original concept for the ending of the game. The original concept is that Cain was going to die from Malroth. Oh, sorry. Uh, and so the young man who shares the blood of Erdrick again returned peace to the world. Prince Cain, Princess Maria, and King Scott. Your names will be handed down for all eternity. The whole game is staged. It was a TV show, not a fantasy game. Oh, no. But yeah, the last achievement was just getting the credits. Uh, but yeah, so apparently the original intention of the ending was that Prince Kane was going to die. I guess his uh, injuries were too severe during during the final boss against Malroth. So you beat him and then Kane dies. And then when you go back to Middenhall, you know, you kind of, you don't really do the full celebration, obviously. But what happens is, apparently, Kane's younger sister shows up and is so upset that her brother's dead and stabs you in the back. Apparently that was the original uh, concept for the ending of the game. And when you consider the beginning of this game, like just showing the destruction of Moonbrook, they had a lot of really darker ideas for this game. Dying all those times must have added up to the final death really did. Ex exactly. Exactly. I almost wish they kind of kept it, but I understand why they didn't. Maybe they thought it might have been too dark for a sequel. Especially since, you know, Dragon Quest was basically the first console JRPG. Maybe it might have been too much. I don't know. But part of me kind of wished they kind of kept it. Main character would have survived 100%. Just give him some herbal or uh, medicinal herbs. He would want the... Yeah, I did get like 30. No, I, I got like 15. Actually, no, like 18 medicinal herbs. So yeah, that was Dragon Quest 1 and 2. Took a little bit longer because of some of the achievements. I'm going to point out. Dragon Quest 1 took me two streams to finish. It still would have taken me two streams if I wasn't going for some achievements. Because I didn't really need to do anything that extra. Uh, honestly... If I wasn't going for achievements for Dragon Quest 2, I could have finished this probably two streams ago. So, with that in mind, 
Dragon Quest 2 would have taken me, like, about four streams. Basically double Dragon Quest 1, so you can kind of see, like, how much bigger Dragon Quest 2 actually is in comparison to 1. It is a big step up. Why do I like Dragon Quest 1 more? <laughs> hey, look. Kane's in his natural habitat in his coffin. But yeah, uh, so the next game I'm going to do, Dragon Quest will be eight. Dragon Quest three will be eight streams. No, because I was originally thinking of playing Dragon Quest three now, but looking at, because. But here's the thing about Dragon Quest Three. I would act. I would probably do achievements like how I did here. I looked through the achievement list. No, not right now. A lot of those achievements are a lot of level grinding. And I I only thought about playing Dragon Quest 3 next because I thought it would probably wouldn't take that long. And I want to keep in mind that I want to play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door when, when that comes out. So I think we're going to save Dragon Quest 3 for a little bit. I'm going to jump into Battle Network 5. I wanted to go back to Battle Network 5. By the time I am done with Battle Network 5, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door should probably be out by that time, or about that time, and that's kind of the plan. That's, we'll get to Dragon Quest 3, just not now. And when I do, it'll probably through these achievements, but... When looking through those achievements, there's just way too many, like, level grind to level 40s sort of thing. And I'm just like, no, there's no way. That might be even one of those games where I would start it, and then once I beat the game, maybe do a little bit more and then come back to do more achievements later on. So yeah, we're going to Dragon... Not Dragon Quest. We're going to Battle Network 5. We're going to Battle Network 5 next. Oh, by the way, if I do this we have all the achievements if i go to if i go to the top do i have the screen up no i don't uh i think if i go to if i go back to my account hold on you can see that i have all the achievements and i got the little master symbol there so there you go Oh yeah, Battle Network 5 will be next. I am actually going to skip stream tomorrow because I find it weird to have one stream and then the weekend. So next Monday, Battle Network 5. By the time Battle Network 5 is done, Thousand Year Door should be out by then. Or about to come out. So that's kind of the plan right now. But anyway, thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time, just not tomorrow. Uh, if you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at ScottBot64 Stream Archives. I'm going to plan for Dragon Quest 3. I don't know when, but we're going to get to it in the not-too-distant future. Actually, no. I shouldn't say not-too-distant future. It's going to be on the list to things to go back to. Anyway, later.